how about Elmer? What, you wanted my attention? He's like, yeah, but don't put your face near my face. Don't put your face near my face, please. Nice pussy. He's a doll. And he does not like kisses. He likes to be held, but not close. I'm like... Pet me with your eyes. Yeah, no, he actually keeps coming right up to my Kitty. lap. <laughs> And he'll put his paws up on my lap and look at me, and then I'll pet his head. And then he's like, oh, that's nice. All right, stop. But don't stop. And then I pick him up, and he gets mad about it. But he's like, I won't do anything about that this. Is and Nick. <laughs> he likes feet, though. So after I put him down, he'll go down and lick my feet like, we're still friends. They want attention, but on their own. Yeah, he's like, he's like, we're still friends, but don't pick me up and don't kiss me, you fucking bitch. <laughs> I'm spoiled on little fungus who loves kisses, but doesn't That's want to be touched any other way. Thank God. <laughs> They're also very, very smart creatures. I love cats. <clears throat> like I'm pretty sure a cat is smarter than a toddler. I really dislike dogs. Maybe a cat's not wiser than a than a toddler, but some cats are smarter than toddlers. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> She broke it. Mildly, I can do it, but it's not the most fun. <laughs> I mean, I understand that, like... When you think about where sinuses are located, having them explode on you is just the worst. Here's a gen rush, and we're about to get it done just as the hook comes back. Now I have to wait for exhaustion. When it's literally in your face. <clears throat> oh yeah. How do you do that so fast? Why are we already in nightfall? Ah! No! <laughs> no! I was just like, close everything. I never thought about that. Okay, so I wasn't going into the locker. I was just closing it. I was just gonna latch it. So that also works. He can grab you if you get latched. Fuck, it's dark. <laughs> that was beautiful. Now I know better. And also, I noticed from Dredge's end, the double lockers are considered single landing points. And I've noticed some of the time when I'm trying to land in one, I end up in a different one. Ooh, thank you, Michaela. I got this. So this build is designed basically to protect the other survivors and get away from the killer really fast. And then the bottom perk gives me 32 seconds of extra struggle time in the struggle phase. So like, it says that her, uh, her skill checks are lowered. Her skill checks are nerfed. I think she was using her med kit. 
Um, I can also cleanse the totem to heal. But over here we're going to use Guardian, which I never get to use. Pretty excited for it. It gives the survivor that had a rescue a speed boost. Oh Christ. And it removes their scratch marks and I think they're blood stains. I'm not sure about that second part. But if the killer shows up, I can immediately handle the, handle the killer. Dredge has no terror radius when nightfall happens, so... I'm being extra careful. He might be hiding in a locker. He broke the locks over there, I think. He does make a kind of a noise. Ooh, he's fucking hot on my heels. <laughs> I just like just enough time to close the locker. Ooh, he did not chase me. What? He lost me. I just have to stay opposite him. Lucky. Please help me, Hattie. I would really like to find a totem and cleanse it. So I think I'll spend some time doing that because we're on the last gen. <clears throat> Hattie's following me because she thinks I know what's up and I really don't. Here we go. This will help me out a lot. But to to heal with my top perk, I have to go into a locker and I have to stay there for a lot of time, like eight seconds. So it is highly risky. And we fucking locked a bunch of the lockers. So I can't actually go in some of them. She died. Why she die? I just heard somebody lock another locker. I think Fearmonger is pretty decent on Dredge, especially when you hit Nightfall and he has no Terror Radius. It just comes right up on you. You don't get any aura. I mean, you wouldn't get an aura anyway, but also like you can't just rush away. You have to be extra careful. What did I tell you? In fact, I'm just going to take this opportunity to step away from the gem. It seems like a good idea. Dredge can see perfectly in this mode, so I'm just gonna hide in this little rock and hope he doesn't see my hair. This lasts for 60 seconds base.
I'm going to wait for a couple seconds after it's over so that we can be sure the terror radius isn't nearby. <clears throat> it probably didn't come over here. I don't even know if there are lockers over here. <clears throat> Hattie, no. <clears throat> Wait, was that Hattie? Do we have two Hatties? do and dredge couldn't get to a hook battery. He just tucked himself into the corner of the exit. <clears throat> that was all right. Hey, I got a fall. Hell yeah. Plus one. Plus one fall from great height. Darkness Revealed is a new perk that's really interesting. Whenever you search a locker for eight uh, for four seconds, I think it goes up to five seconds. You see the auras of other, other, others. Or you see the auras of survivors near lockers. So, like, if you check the locker and there's nobody in there, you still get a look at people next to lockers. It's pretty fucking great. Shattered Hope is a new basic. This is a new general perk, which is really great. It allows you, when you snuff a totem as the killer, instead of snuffing it, you destroy it. And then if there are survivors in the aura of that totem, you get to see their aura for a brief time. Uh, Blood Warden is obvious. Rip Blood Warden. 